This is Twit. All right, uh, Jeff, you've got uh, you've got something um, interesting here. Uh, yeah, I what, I have what, something. I think. Uh, what is this? Do you actually have one of these? No, but I'm like, I think I need to get one of these. Oh well, and and I think uh, Rob and Jonathan need one of these. <laughs> I, I got something that they might want to spend their money on. So what we're talking about it's it's a small NAS and small meaning five and three quarter inches by three point eight inches and just one and a quarter inches thick. Sorry, I didn't uh, convert to metric. Um, <laughs> You know, I, I'm sure several of you already guessed that this is a small form factor, so it uses NVMe drives, four of them to be exact. And I have a couple links in the show notes about this item, but I do want to point out an error in the How To Geek link. It says it only supports one terabyte NVMe drives, and that is not correct. It supports up to four terabyte NVMe drives. So there's a possibility for 16 terabytes of storage. Now the drives will only communicate with at PCIe 3.0 speeds, but really that's gonna be plenty fast for a NAS. Uh, drives running at 3.0 hit roughly 3000 to 3500 megabytes a second with an interface limit of four gig gigabytes a second when using four PCIe lanes. You know, if that isn't enough, then you probably need an enterprise solution. The rest of the specifications for the, the Nest Disk NEST DISK include an Intel N150 quad core CPU and it runs at 3.6 gigahertz, but it's designed to be a low power option, though, you know, it's standard speed, you know, when it's not boosting is 1.6 gigahertz and it will only pull about six watts even when it's under load. So you can keep this thing on the network all the time without making a big dent in your power bill. Uh, the CPU has 12 gigabytes of LPDDR5, but if you so desire, there is an option to get a 16 gigabyte version. Uh, something that's pretty cool is that also that it, it comes with two 2.5 gig, gigabyte Ethernet ports. So they're they're not, you know, they're they're not able to keep up with the PCIe 3.0 drives. So that's why, you know even if you're thinking, well, I need PCIe 5. Well, you're limited by your ethernet port, but you know, 2.5 gig ethernet, that's, that's pretty good. It can transfer about 18 gigabytes per minute. So even if you have an enor enormous amount of data to back up, like say you get a phone with 300 gigabytes of pictures, you're looking at less than 30 minutes. So it's, it's not bad for moving quite a bit of data. It does have integrated Intel graphics, a USB-C port for power, a second USB-C port for video, audio, or data, and an HDMI port. It's got a, a standard 3.5 millimeter aux port, you know, like for uh, audio, Bluetooth 5.2, and Wi-Fi 6. Now, it does come loaded with Open Media Vault, you know, standard, which is a Debian-based load but it's designed to be NAS specific. Uh, because, it, because it's Debian, you can use tools like rsync, cron, and so on to schedule backups and do all sorts of things. It supports many RAID levels such as 0, 1, 5, and 6, and all the others. So if you wanna get fancy, you can do the 10 and 01, and, but realistically, you know, set it on uh, five or six and just be happy. You can use this as a router or you can even use it as a low-end PC if you have light tasks, which you want to do with it. You know, it's it's four cores and it's it's not super powerful, but, you know, some light browsing and things like that. You can use this like a mini PC. To see what you're doing, it, ha it has the HDMI ports and a Type-C output, as I said, and it can support up to three 4K displays. The system is built by UE2, it's Y-O-U-Y-E-E-T-O-O, -E -E all one word, and it could be found on places like Amazon for purchase. I looked today and the price is $219 US on Amazon. Uh, there's other local retailers for other countries and, as well, or you can purchase it directly from UE2 website as well. 
Take a look at the article linked in the show notes for more details. And they have direct links to the UE2 website for the Nest Disk Mini PC NAS. And uh, Jonathan, think this is going to wind up under your tree? Probably not. Um, <laughs> I've got a I've got a full size server already that is sort of my my data storage place. Um, uh, it is it is really interesting uh, for two hundred and fifteen bucks, particularly uh, if someone yeah. needed a little server. And yeah, yeah, I could see I could see why this would be very interesting. I I, I find it fascinating. I was thinking about this the other day that uh, we're starting to use USB C for for power USB C with power delivery for so many um, everything. Yeah, for so many different things, like like things. Woo, Things that uh, used to, you would either have a, like a, a dedicated power adapter or you would run AC power into. I, I remember at one point people were talking about this, like, man, we need some sort of DC power standard. And it's it just occurred to me the other day, like USB-C with power delivery has become that standard. Uh, it'd be nice so, when USB-C just takes over everything. I mean, it kind of That's already has. <laughs> kind of well, I mean, already they even has. Get rid of hdmi and other things uh yeah well i mean you can you can already do display port over usb c with with display port alt mode um, yeah we just need audio through display port that's true that's one of the things that doesn't work yet isn't it yeah mm. All right. well um yeah no this is this is a really interesting little little box though if you if you get one make sure and let us know how it goes it'd be fun to do sort of a review of it Oh yeah, yeah I, I'm not looking ahead, for right. anything now. Um, but you know, maybe when my if mine dies ever, it's been around for probably a decade now. So if that ever dies, maybe maybe this will be uh, next on my list. Hopefully, it doesn't die now. <laughs> <laughs> We've cursed it. If you enjoyed this clip, be sure to check out the Untitled Linux Show. You can find us in your favorite podcasting app or subscribe to our YouTube channel down in the links below. See you there. Mm-hmm.